So now that we understand a little bit about string slicing, let's see how we can then use those string slices to make more interesting uh, output. So I, again, keeping it very, very simple here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, the same example I've been using for a while. It's early in the morning, so I, I may be obsessing just a little bit on coffee. Um, but notice that I can make these slices, right? So I could say, uh, let's say I just want to grab the word love. So we can say I want to go two, six here. I'll check that make sure that just gives me the word love. Let's go ahead and clean this up so we can see it. So we're going to call that my slice one. And let's say I just want to grab coffee now. So I'm going to do another one. I'm going to say my slice, slice two equals and we're going to slice the same thing, my string. And this time I'm just going to get the word coffee. Uh, and I'm going to use that where I don't, I just carry all the way to the end. So coffee starts on seven. So I'm going to go seven to the end. And then I'm going to print my slice one and my slice two, just to make sure I'm getting what I expect out of this. And let's take a look here. I should get love coffee, right? love coffee. Now, what if I wanted to do something really stupid with this sentence, like say coffee and love? Um, well, obviously I can move these around, right? I can change this to two and change this to one. And then that would put them in different orders, right? So now I've got coffee and love. Um, but I could also do lots of other interesting things. Maybe I need to deal with those. So let's create a third slice. My slice three. And uh, in this case, I'm just going to get the the exclamation points, right? So my string, and I'm going to say, let's see, what is that? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it must be 13, 14, and 15. So I'm going to take 13 through the end. Let's make sure that that actually gives me what I expect here. Yeah, so I got lots of different things, and maybe I'll take the exclamation points off of this seven. So start that at 12. Again, make sure that's two not through. Let's make sure that's what I expect. So I should have love, coffee, yeah. All right, so you can see once we start pulling these things apart, we can start rearranging them and moving them into different ways. Um, and we can even create whole new words. So for instance, I wanna create uh, my new, Right? And I can actually take these things and uh, I can concatenate them. My string, let's say my slice. And I'm going to take coffee. So I want my slice two. And then I'm going to put it with my slice one. And I'm going to put it with my slice three. Now I'm creating a whole new variable, right? Instead of using those individually, I can say my new sentence. Move that back over so it can be readable. Let's make sure I didn't screw anything up here. Yeah. And so I can see I'm creating this whole new sentence. You can see it because I'm concatenating. Everything is gluing itself together and that may or may not be okay. So if I really wanted, I could add spaces here. And again, I just use these plus signs to do what I want to do with that, right? That adds myself a specific space. So you can see we can do some more interesting things with slices. And this becomes very, very powerful. Um, as we start pulling data out of larger data sets, we may need to manipulate that data. Maybe we have a first name, last name, but we really need it to be last name, first name. Uh, if it's all one thing, one variable, we can pull it apart using slices and rearrange it. So uh, very, very powerful.